Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel and in particular this little series on Lightroom editing as it relates mainly to our street photography. Now in this video we're going to be taking a look at two uh, ladies trying to cross a very busy road and also the wonderful northwest light that we get here which plunges everything into shadow one minute and everything into bright highlight the next. So really this video is more of a, a lesson in how to balance highlight and shadow and the way that I balanced all the elements in the frame given such extremes of contrast within the actual image. If you like the video please give it a thumbs up and if you'd like to join us on this little journey into Lightroom editing then we would love to see you subscribe. Thanks again for watching and I'll look forward to seeing you again on the next one. The main issue with this image is the difference between the foreground and the background. This was a really bright sunny winter's afternoon and the two figures here are actually in quite dark shadow. And the main purpose of this edit is to try and balance the background with the foreground a little bit better. The first thing I'm going to do is crop the image. Now I'm going to go for a slightly squarer crop than normal. I'm going for a five by seven crop and I do this a lot in my work. Um, I'm a great believer that the crop should fit the image and it's not always possible to fit uh, an image perfectly into a three by two frame. And the other thing as well, particularly on a day like this, you know, uh, we're wearing dark glasses because it's so bright outside. It's quite difficult to see through the viewfinder and you don't always see the edges of the frame. And I tend to, when working quickly, tend to concentrate on probably about 80% of the frame. And that normally corresponds to around about a five by seven crop. So this will work really well with this particular photograph. I'm just gonna drop it down to 25% just to make sure I'm happy with that crop. And I think that's about there. I think that's kind of nice. We've not lost the tower. The tower's there. We've got some nice structure here. Um, the, the, we've got a nice diagonal going through the frame here, which is um, including the two faces, which is quite nice as well. So I'm quite happy with that crop. I'm going to start off by changing the profile from the Adobe uh, monochrome profile for the Leica monochrome camera to my own P32 profile, which I have in my silver chrome preset pack. And I'll leave a description to that below. Now this uh, profile just changes the very flat monochrome profile to something that's got a bit more bite to it. Something that has a tone of range, which is more akin to a scanned uh, piece of film. I'm going to bring the highlights down so we can bring the background down, see how much detail we've got to work with. And there's quite a lot there, which is quite nice. Um, but now it's kind of made the overall image quite flat in contrast. So let's work on the foreground first. Let's work on these, these two characters here. So I can do this in several different ways, but with um, Lightroom, I think we're on version 12 at the moment. As of recording, we're at 12.0.1 camera roll 15. We can use the masking filters to really speed the edit up within this uh, masking panel up here. So the first thing I'm going to do is try and see what these the masks are going to do on these two people. Now there's our first mask, there's our second mask. The second mask isn't too bad, we're missing the cigarette and the first mask is only kind of doing half the, half the figure. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the objects masking tool and I'm just going to paint around the faces first of all. And Lightroom should, yes it does, Lightroom gives us a nice mask there. I'm going to increase the exposure a little bit, but by doing that it's going to make the face look kind of grubby almost, it's kind of flat, it's not very clear. So I'm getting a little bit of clarity. I'm going to add a little bit of dehaze. And then I'm going to increase the shadows. And then I'm going to increase the whites. Okay, as you can see, if you compare her face to the face of, of a friend here, we've really brought the face to life. So I'm going to do exactly the same with this one here. So I'm going to make a new mask, objects, paint around the face, and that'll include the cigarette as well, which is really cool. And I'm going to do exactly the same thing again. She needs a little bit more help, particularly around the chin area. It's very dark there. So I'm just going to increase the exposure first. I'm going to increase the whites and I'm going to increase the shadows. And I think I'm going to increase the shadows a little bit more than the previous one, but I'm going to increase the dehaze. And the clarity, that's nice. And we just need it to be a little bit lighter. Let's pull the highlights up. There we go. And that's kind of given us the, the tonal range that we want in the, the two figures. Now, the next thing I want to do is to bring out the coats. 
so that they're better balanced now with the rest of the, the image. Now, if I applied these adjustments to the coats, the coats would be very noisy and they wouldn't look particularly good. So I'm gonna go back into my object brush and I'm literally gonna paint around the coat area here. And hopefully Lightroom does a good job and it does. That's fantastic. I don't wanna affect the hand. So what I'm gonna do is click on the mask, do a minus, get a brush and I'm just gonna paint away that little area there. So with the coats, all I'm gonna do is increase the shadows and I'm gonna increase the texture a little bit and a little bit of clarity. Okay, now she's standing out, that's lovely. Do the same with this one, I'm gonna take a, a, another object brush, I'm just gonna paint all the way in here Okay, and then I'm going to do exactly the same thing. I'm increase the shadows, increase the texture. I tend to use texture a lot on fabric um, because I think it just gives a nice kind of feel to the highlights, particularly in fabric. A little bit of clarity, maybe a little bit dehaze. Now we need to address the background. The background now is starting to look a little bit artificial compared to the foregrounds. Now to do this, I'm going to create another mask. I'm going to take the object mask again, and I'm going to paint all over this area here and then hopefully Lightroom will understand what I'm doing and we should be able to get a reasonable mask hopefully yeah and it's done a really good job there superb job in fact so all I'm going to do is invert that mask and now we've just got the background that's being affected so I want to increase the exposure a little bit and I just want to bring those highlights down a little bit more. And I just want to add a little bit of dehaze. That's kind of really cool. I'm just going to reduce it to 25% just so I can have a better assessment of the picture. And what I'm going to do is just adjust the overall contrast. So I can use a tone curve, push up the mid-tones, a little bit of brightness in. Okay, and then I'm going to go into color grading, which I always tend to finish off with the pictures with now. I'm going to drop the highlights down a little bit. In fact, I'm going to increase the highlights on this one. I think I like the contrast a bit more. That's it. It's more in keeping with what it was like on the day. And then the shadows down a little bit. Okay, cool. Now I'm just going to have a quick look around the image and see if there's something I need to address. I'm still not happy about this area here. It's still a little bit in the, uh, the muddy side, if that's the right word. So I'm going to zoom right in. I'm going to take a brush. I'm going to take the brush right down. I'm just going to gently increase the shadows there there we go and same here just gonna lift the, the shadow areas just a little bit okay let's zoom out let's have a look at it that's okay I'm happy with that fit I'm gonna add some grain now zoom in 100% Grain's quite nice there. I think I'm going to bump it up a little bit more to there. That's going to add to the photograph. Check it for dust spots. I think this one's actually quite clear. I don't think there's too many problems with this. And I think that's done.